Kwame Cleric Ahmed Gumi has been a vocal figure when it comes to issues involving armed bandits in the northern part of Nigeria. Apart from helping in some cases to secure the release of some abducted victims, Gumi has also tried to suggest ways the federal government led by President Muhammad Buhari can end the problem of banditry. On the other hand, Gumi has said and done some things that can make people believe that he defends the bandits. The most recent action Gumi took leads clearance, clearance to these facts. Recently, Gumi unknowingly leaked the main secret of strength of the armed bandits while he was defending them. Gumi disclosed that the secret of the strength of the bandits lies in their ability to acquire weapons which they use for their operations. According to a report by The Punch, Gumi revealed that the armed bandits realized how powerful they are because they were able to acquire weapons which they used to carry out their operations in their domains. With that, the bandits realized that they could actually be in charge, call the shots and do what they want in their domain of influence. Banditry becomes one of those things they do to make huge money to acquire more weapons and live the kind of life they want. Well, Gumi's major intention was to condemn the federal government for deploying soldiers to carry out military actions against the bandits as witnessed recently. The troops have deployed more sophisticated weapons which they used to bomb the armed bandits and their bases. No doubt, many of them have been killed in those bombardments, thereby making Gumi to come out to condemn the military action. Over the years, Gumi has always defended the bandits on some ground. He sees them as people that were victims of circumstances who took to banditry to survive as they had no other better options. In, in, the, in his latest comment, where he unknowingly revealed the secrets of the bandit, Gumi condemned the military action ordered by the federal government, saying that it would make things worse. He advised the federal government to stop it. Rather, he recommended dialoguing with the bandit and granting them amnesty as the way out. But based on Gumi's latest revolution, revelation, sorry, which he did unknowingly, the first thing the federal government should do is to block the source of arms, that is weapons, for the bandits. Stop them from getting ransom, fish out their arms suppliers. And these are what Nigerians have been talking about. These bandits, they have people, you know, uh, uh, sponsoring them, people who, sp who supply them arms and all that. The federal government should find a way to stop it. And they will... With, with them, crush the bandits for good. That is just the only way out from this maze these people are putting Nigerians. He advised the federal government to stop it. Rather, he recommended dialoguing with the bandits and granting them amnesty as the way out. With this statement alone, shows that he is behind all the atroc atrocities being carried out by the bandits. So, for... I can His Majesty Gumi as the father of demonic banditry and terrorists. Hmm. This is nonsense and useless. We have to stop all this nonsense. Gumi should be arrested for want. Both arguments and commendable birds, I think argument does not does a lot of benefit when it comes to conflict resolution. Remember those are faceless individuals coming together with one agenda yet nobody knows what the agenda is all about you can't fight a curse without knowing the roots of the curse the bandits are not proscribed they can't be arrested instead they granted them amnesty that is why it is it cannot end this government will not take any action forget about it Instead, they will follow the advice of Gumi because they are all Fulanis and they will not want to kill their own people. Let's look at, look at it this way. 
If they are your people, you will prefer dialogue. Jonathan did the same thing for Niger Delta people when he was the president by granting them amnesty, sending them abroad to study a trade and establish them when they came back with huge amounts of Nigerian money. I personally support forgiveness when there is genuine repentance. God bless Nigeria. Yeah, genuine repentance. Are they actually repenting? That is a question. Is there any genuineness in them? So guys, I'm going to drop it here. Kindly hit the comment section. Thank you very much for always stopping by. If you have not subscribed, please kindly do. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Also, click on the notification button for more updates. Thank you very much for always coming out here. God bless you. Bye for now.